Okay, good morning class. So once again, we are here to start another topic. And our topic will be about minerals. So the objectives of our lesson for today is the learners will be able to identify common rock forming minerals using their physical and chemical properties. So this is the competency of your lesson. So at the end of the lesson, you as learners will be able to, number one, demonstrate understanding about physical and chemical properties of minerals. Two, identify some common rock forming minerals and last, classify minerals based on chemi chemical affinity. So before we start, okay, if you happen to visit your LMS, so you're going to see a question there. So if not, you can log into your account and you have the question there. Are the minerals present in dietary su supplements and the minerals we are talking about here are the same? Okay, so can write your answer and later at the end of the discussion we are going to reveal the answer so going back again to our lesson so here I have examples of uh, examples of substances and you are going to identify whether they are minerals or not Okay, the first one is water. So what do you think is water? Mineral or not? Okay, so if your answer is not, then it is correct. So next, we have ice. So is ice a mineral or not? So if your answer is mineral, then you are correct. Okay, next. So what is this? So this is a snowflake. So is a snowflake a mineral or not? Okay, if your answer is it is a mineral, then you are correct. So next we have shattered glass or glass. Is it a mineral or not? So if your answer is mineral, then you are wrong. So glass is not a mineral. Okay, next we have a diamond. Okay, a blue diamond. Is it a mineral or not? So again, if your answer is a mineral, then you are correct. Okay, last we have so what's this? This is sugar. So is sugar a mineral or not? So if your answer is not, then again you are correct. So how are we are going to identify if a certain substance is a mineral or not? Okay, so minerals are actually naturally occurring in organic solid with orderly crystalline structure and a definite chemical composition so if you're going to look back at the previous pictures or images that i had flashed on the screen okay you will have a you will have an idea what makes a mineral okay for example why is water not considered a mineral so based on our definition here it is naturally occurring yes water is naturally occurring inorganic solid we know that water is inorganic but it is not solid so it does not fall on the category of being a mineral so our minerals are actually the basic build basic building blocks of rocks or in another way we can say that rocks are aggregates of minerals aggregates meaning they are components of rocks so here 
in the screen you can see the different uh, images of economically important minerals example opal azurite and bismuth so to meet the definition of a mineral so some uh, most of geology uh, most of the geologists uh, has or have the following requirements okay number one it has to be homogeneous two it has to be naturally occurring as i have mentioned a while ago it has to be solid it has to have a definite chemical composition it has to have a more an orderly crystalline structure and it has to be organic so later we're going to see uh, examples or a definition of each of the terms here okay number one homogeneous what do you mean by the word homogeneous so to define homogeneous so here we have the different characteristics of a mineral so first one is homogeneous so homogeneous meaning something that is the same through and through and can it cannot be broken into simpler components so an example of this is the blue diamond that i have shown you okay this one so all throughout the the particular sub that this particular substance or this diamond you can see that it is made of uh, carbon so you cannot uh, reduce it to any other simpler or it cannot be broken into simpler components okay next we have it is naturally occurring so minerals are the result of natural geological processes so examples of these processes are uh, it, we can mention this one in our uh, in our next dis discussions. So like exogenic and endogenic processes, metamorphism, plutonism, so how rocks are formed. And since rocks are made of minerals, so in a way, we can see also how uh, minerals are formed through these processes. So man-made minerals are called synthetic minerals. Example of these are industrial diamonds. So, number three, solid. So, minerals must be able to maintain a set shape nearly indefinitely. So, liquids are not examples of, or are not considered minerals. So, like the water that I have shown you a while ago, so it is not an example of a mineral. However, the solid form, which is ice, is considered a mineral. So we can see that it has, uh, it has the following characteristics. We know that it is homogeneous, it is naturally occurring because water is naturally occurring, and it is also solid. Okay, so the next characteristics are the following. It has to have a definable or definite chemical composition. A mineral can be described by a chemical formula. So example of this are quartz, biotite, diamond. So with a corresponding chemical formula. So we have uh, silicon oxide. So biotite, we have the following. And then diamond, carbon. So homogeneous all through and through. So although these are made of different, uh, this is actually a compound. But when we look at the mineral itself it cannot be broken into simpler components so next is it has to have an orderly or an order an orderly arrangement of atoms so minerals have a fixed atomic pattern that repeats itself over a large region relative to the size of atoms so crystal solids or crystal lattice uh, is what we call as the organized structure of a mineral so if you're going to look at it, so this one, this is a crystal lattice or the structure of a sodium chloride crystal. So you can see here the sodium are the gray ones and the chlorine atoms are the green ones. So they are organized or they are arranged in an organized manner. 
So this is an example of a crystal lattice. So we have uh, one particular cube that's a cubic crystal of uh, sodium chloride. Okay, next, six, generally or inorganic. Organic, so what's the difference between organic and inorganic? When we mean to say organic, it is a substance composed of carbon bonded to hydrogen with varying amounts of oxygen, nitrogen, and other elements. Carbon alone is not organic. So, organic meaning it has to be a component of life. So, it has to be bonded with hydrogen. We know that carbon, uh, like for example, the component or the structure of sugar, C6H2O6, so this is one of the basic structure for uh, mostly living things. So, carbon alone is not considered organic. However, if it's bonded with hydrogen or with oxygen or nitrogen or any other elements, then it can be considered organic. So inorganic, meaning it has uh, it doesn't have carbon bonded with the uh, with the minerals or uh, no with the elements that I have mentioned a while ago. So only a few organic substances are considered minerals. So all other minerals are inorganic. So an example of this is. Uh, sugar. So sugar is an example of okay, sugar, this one. So a while ago, we considered this as not a mineral. So again, it is not considered a mineral because it is mm. organic. Okay, it is bonded with uh, hydrogen and oxygen so C6H12O6 that's a blood sugar and then we have the more complex structure the sucrose so that is our table sugar so we cannot consider it as a mineral Okay, so going back again to the substances that I have flashed in the screen a while, uh, a while ago. So again, water is not considered a mineral because it is not solid. Okay? And then ice is considered a mineral because aside from being solid, it has an organized, it has an orderly arrangement of an atoms it has a definite chemical composition and of course it is inorganic and then it is naturally occurring being water okay next we have snowflake again it has passed the qualifications or the characteristics of a mineral okay so we have glass so glass is not considered a mineral because it has no um, it has no orderly arrangement of atoms, so it is not organized in terms of chemical, uh, in terms of structure or physical structure. Okay, next we have diamond. So diamond is considered a mineral because, again, it is made of it is homogeneous solid, and aside from although it is made of carbon, but then again, it is not attached to any. Uh, it is not bonded to any other elements. It is pure carbon. So we can consider this as a mineral. And then lastly, we have sugar or table sugar. This is not a mineral because it is, uh, it is not inorganic. So it is organic rather. 